hey guys, I got a bunch of questions after that last video. People asking me about Roundup. What do you use Roundup for <laughs> in your dog training? Gosh, I shouldn't have used that analogy. Way too strong, way too strong. I mean, I don't even use Roundup in my own garden, but it brought up an interesting topic. And that is, how do you say no to your dog? And it's a sensitive subject. So before I go on, let me point out a couple of things. First, when I refer to saying no to the dog, what it means is I'm marking the moment that the undesirable behavior occurs. Second, the only good reason to say no to your dog is to get to a place where you can say yes. And last, it's crucial to your dog's good attitude that you say yes a lot more than you say no. Having said all that, dogs are smart. They're opportunists. They will take advantage. They're animals. And you've invited that animal to live in your home. So you have to be ready to tell them, look, that's just not acceptable. And the clearer you are, the faster they learn. A well-timed, properly conditioned negative marker will set limits for the dog that they understand. And it'll convey information without any frustration without any anger. So back to the roundup, back to the roundup. Think about how animals get along together in nature. A good example of how the animals interact around here on the farm are the horses and the dogs. And the dogs learn really fast that there is a good side of the horse and a bad side. There's a safe side and then there is a dangerous side and they learn to avoid that dangerous side. They associate the rear end of the horse with a bad place to be. And some dogs learn that fast. Some dogs learn it a little slower. Hopefully they do learn to live through that lesson or live to learn that lesson. I don't know which way you want to put that. All right. There's a couple takeaways here. Number one, do not use Roundup on your dog. Even if they're being really bad, don't use Roundup on your dog. It's not going to work. Second, you're not a horse. Don't kick the dog. Nobody should kick their dogs ever. These are analogies. I use analogies to teach. It helps associate things that we don't understand with things that we do. Okay. But don't take them literally. Dogs learn through association also. And this is a concept that we will use in our training over and over again and will be the topic of many videos to come. I promise you short, simple exercises you could do with your dog at home that would improve your communication. So here it is. If you're having problems at home where you feel like no is just not working, that it's ineffective, that the dog has tuned you out, it doesn't mean anything to them, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get yourself uh, a piece of rope. This is nylon line. It's relatively light. This is usually what we use around the kennel. Uh, you're going to want to cut a piece of this line. The length of the line will depend on what your dog is doing, how much space you have, how big the dog is. But usually we cut it about eight feet long. You melt the end so it doesn't fray. You tie a loop in one end. You slip knot it on their collar and you just let them drag it around. That gives you a handle on the dog. So if they're doing something wrong, you don't have to go to them and lay your hands on the dog, which is a, a really mixed and confusing message. If the dog is doing something wrong and you touch them, basically you are reinforcing them for doing what they're doing. So if your puppy is peeing on the floor and you go up and you touch them by picking them up to take them outside, you're giving them a giant jackpot reward for peeing on the floor. So the line gives you a handle and get to the dog without laying your hands on them. Okay. Very important, very useful. This line is a great tool. It's cheap and easy to use. And sometimes just the weight of the line, just the feel of it on their collar is enough to give your dog a sense of responsibility and straighten out their halo, but don't leave them on it unattended and don't let knots get in it. We're excited about sharing this information with you guys, and we hope you enjoy it. We'll be posting more content on the ADW Digital Dog Trainer YouTube channel periodically. So subscribe and stay up to date on all the latest videos. don't use a lot of roundup but I will yank a weed right out I will I'll yank it out by the root <laughs>